Hey, what is up? It is Caleb, and I have some really exciting news that I want to share with you guys and also explain how I got there. So recently, I landed a job with IBM. Now, IBM is a well-established company with over 100 years in its lifespan. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, to me, that's like forever. <laughs> um, so this video I'm going to dedicate to talking about what's happening in my life, how this job is going to affect me, and how I managed to get this job. And I'm hoping those of you who are looking for jobs that this video can be of inspiration to you. So uh, you know what to look for, what, what to uh, strive for when you are trying to get a job. And the way I got this job is probably abnormal to most. <laughs> I mean, it was to me. I was not expecting this. <laughs> so it was really cool how it played out. And I think it'll be an inspiration. So I'll start at the beginning. First off, for those of you who don't know me, I have a developer background. But I'm still fairly young, so I don't have a lot of experience under my belt. I uh, am attending school for computer science. I am in my last year for bachelor's. Finally, <laughs> oh man, my mom's gonna be so proud. <laughs> and I'm actually still in school while working this job, which is abnormal. Most people, they get out of school and then they start looking for a job. And the way I approach things is a little bit different. And in fact, I've actually had development jobs even though I've been in school. So I worked as a, devel I worked as a developer for a year and a half for a company. Sometimes part-time, sometimes full-time, just as, as I had time to give, but usually probably average 30 hours a week. So I had a pretty involved de development job, and that's where I really established, you know, I'm interested in the tech field, and I love programming. This is, this is what I want to do, and at that point, I was uh, interested in going back to school because I, I dropped out, and long story, well, but I was like, I'm going to go back into computer science, get a bachelor's. And throughout that experience, I've always been documenting what I've been learning on my YouTube videos. So I, I do trainings, I, I uh, tutorial, uh, basically everything I know, <laughs> which people see my videos and they're like, wow, you know all this stuff. What they don't realize, aside from my YouTube videos, I don't know anything. <laughs> like literally, I, here's how I think about it. If I, if I learn something and I don't get to make a video about it, it's like wasted effort, <laughs> which is really, really sad approach, but I'm getting off topic. The point is, I have continually documented my knowledge base here on, YouTube, here on my YouTube channel, not just to help me learn, that's one key thing was to help me learn, but also to try to build an income and establish my influence and my business here on the internet. And you guys who have been following me forever know that I have... I have uh, gone through lots of changes with the way I do videos, the stuff I'm covering, and uh, I've been establishing myself slowly and figuring out who I really am and what my career is going to be. And it's been a really good adventure. And somewhere along the lines, I, I wanted to kind of step it up a notch, and I started releasing more content and being more restrictive on the kind of content I was creating. So that was not very long ago, like within a year. And at that point, not everything I learned was getting put on YouTube. So I would question myself, hey, does this content really, does this really address my audience? Does this, does this add value to what, what I have on my channel? And if the answer was no, I would try not to make videos over it. And usually that ended up with me not learning the material anyways. <laughs> so I still have been kind of trying to uh, always make videos about what I'm learning. So my learning has changed to better, better address this developer data-driven need in the industry. And as I was making more and more videos on that, I opened a sponsorship page on my website, which gave some stats and everything about what a sponsor would get if they were to sponsor some videos. And I worked with a couple different brands. I worked with several nines. Uh, I worked with IBM and um, actually, yeah, only two. And I've been reached out to a couple others, but nothing has, I haven't followed through with any of those yet. So IBM was the second one, but I, they weren't really reaching out for a sponsorship. They invited me to a conference to speak. And you guys may remember me posting a video about it how I was going to Germany to speak about uh, their database. And 
more generally just unstructured data and how that works inside of a relational database. And that was kind of that was kind of the relationship start with me and IBM. And I guess I didn't do terrible because they still wanted to work with me after. <laughs> so that's exciting. The next step was there they wanted some videos made that would help developers get started with their database. So their database is DB2 as you guys have probably known from my videos. And I made 18 or so videos and during that time frame I had a deadline. I was like I have to get these 18 videos done before this date. <laughs> and um before that date is when I got offered a position at IBM and it was it was crazy. Everything was orchestrated so well. When I actually got offered the position, I had a lot of mixed feelings. I ended up saying yes, obviously, because I'm making this video on how I got a job at IBM, but there's a lot of mixed feelings, mainly because the the job itself was a little bit off what I was uh, experienced in, and I can explain that in a bit. And also, they were asking for a relocation. And those are two really challenging things to deal with. So it's been very challenging, but I've been with the company four months or so now, and I'm still surviving. <laughs> uh, so it's crazy because I'm still in school, and I was reached out. So when I got hired, it was kind of like an exception. They're like, hey, we like people to be done with school, unless you're an intern, but, but we'll make an exception. And I'm not trying to say that because like, oh, I'm, I'm so awesome or whatever. What I'm trying to get the point across is that there are steps you can take to make yourself distinguished in the marketplace of job searching. And those are the kinds of things I want to talk to you about in this video. Specifically, I had that record on my YouTube channel of, hey, here are the things that I study. Here's the way I present information. And although up here... I'm probably lower than most software engineers out there. I uh, I went the extra step to present what I did know and organize and structure my skills in, in essentially a resume. So people come to my YouTube channel, they know what I do. And that offered at that that offered extreme value to me because it was basically a living resume. Because, you know, I'm getting 200,000 views a month and I don't have to do anything for that. So of that 200,000 views, some of those are potential employers. And of those potential employers, of those potential employers, some percentage of them are going to reach out to me, offer me a position. And YouTube was my means of making a resume. And it's still going to be. There's other ways to do that, though. If you guys are trying to figure out how do I get a job, where do I work, what do I do, figure out what you enjoy and start proving yourself in that area. Even if it's even if it's one small thing, start there. You know, if you just want if you just want to do <laughs> like just databases, like that's what I started with, or just database design, or just one particular piece of a programming language, you can do that. It doesn't have to be on YouTube either. You can use GitHub or Bitbucket, or some repository system. Anything to showcase what you've done. Because honestly, skill-wise, knowledge-wise, I would say there are better people for the position. There are there's so many people out there with so many skills who strive and work so hard to reach one of these positions. But I was I was selected because I had that proof behind me so they looked at me and they said oh this guy's not just all words he's actions we can see this from his youtube channel and when i spoke in germany that was affirmation so i don't really i don't really want to ramble but basically what i'm trying to get across is that uh, by building a resume some sort of active resume you can set yourself apart from the competition because you have all these things under your name. Even if they're small achievements, they'll start to add up. You know, now I'm to the point where on YouTube I've hit 50,000 subscribers. On Udemy, I have over 100,000 students. 
and then all my other social networks, I have, you know, a couple thousand, uh, you know, with Facebook and Twitter and my, my email. And that all adds up. It's like I'm starting to build an influence, and it's pretty crazy. <laughs> so the videos that I'm going to be producing now, I'm still going to do tutorials. In fact, I got, a, I got a board right there. Boom. But I want to talk more real world. So I, I did some live streams back a while ago, and I liked those. They were fun. The problem with those is they were really long and only had small sections of really good content. What I want to do is I want to get rid of all that extra stuff and just give you guys good content on a regular basis, showing you, hey, here's what's going on in my life. Hey, here's something I'm learning about. Here's something new. And that is going to allow you guys to come to this channel and see see what's going on in the industry from a real world perspective. So I'm gonna try and get as real as possible with career, career tips, what's going on in the industry, what you need to know about, and I'm gonna be genuine about it. So with the tutorials, I go up there and I'm like, oh, blah, 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 here's some things I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm smart, whatever. <laughs> but the thing is, I have to prepare for forever to get all that information organized. And I still wanna do that because it mentally is it's exercising my brain and it's helping me learn material. But the problem with that is that if there's something small I wanna talk about, such as Raspberry Pi or IoT or quantum computing or machine learning, well actually I just did some videos on that, but <laughs> something where I'm not an expert at. I don't feel like I have to go study for hours to even make a video. What I want to do is I want to whip out a camera, talk to you guys and say, hey, here's what I know. Here's what you should know. Here's what's happening in the industry. Here's what is happening in the industry. And that's it. And the stuff that I don't know, don't even have to worry about that. So for example, I want to talk some about quantum computing because I think it is a stinkingly awesome. <laughs> it's stinking awesome. Um, and I want to talk about why it is. With my tutorials, you're not really going to get that. You guys probably didn't even know I was interested in that because I wasn't really able to talk about that. But now, my idea is when I'm driving to work, whip out a camera, talk about some topic for the day, give some advice to people, answer questions, be uh, connected with my audience. So what I want you guys to take away from this is that throughout this upcoming project, I'm not going to be hiding away from what's going on in real life and just teach the same old stuff. What I want to do is I want to allow you guys to peek into what the real world and the industry is like through events, through cool topics I'm learning about, like brand new technology, all of those things. I wanna give you guys as early as possible access to that kind of information. And I want you to be able to come back here on a regular basis and know that I'm gonna be producing good content, giving you what's what's real and what's new. That way you can leave, you can leave this channel and have some something to, to show for it up here, you know? But it's gonna be very conversational, right? Like this, I'm just literally just talking to my camera. Nothing special. Makes it easier on me, it makes it more real, it makes it authentic. And what I don't want you guys to think is, oh, now I got this job and it's you know a big deal, it's time to slow down on my YouTube or whatever. In fact, is doing the exact opposite because now every single day I go into work I'm exposed to new technology I'm exposed to new ideas and I come home more motivated than ever to share those things with you guys and to make those those YouTube videos and build my influence so it's not like one or the other in fact I think these are gonna work really well in supplementing one another augmenting one another because you know I'm gonna be attending some events here and I would like to show you guys what's going on, like what's going on in the real world. If you're not able to get out there, you're not able to, to get a job, you're not able to uh, attend these crazy events and see what's new in the technology field, I want to deliver that information to you free of charge here on YouTube. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's all I got for this one. Um, so to summarize, the, the biggest thing is to build a living resume and uh, we'll get into some more business tips and resume tips because I've actually been kind of uh, collecting them over the years since I've 
since I've had numerous tech jobs and I'm still fairly young and I have experience here on YouTube, I think I could give you guys some valid advice and help you guys get employment. And I see that every day, maybe not every day, but very often people send me messages. Hey man, you, you helped me ace my interview at Facebook. Now I got a software job at Facebook. Hey man, I just finished my master's degree. All the time. So I get to influence people, I get to help people, and that makes me happy and fulfilled. So hopefully you guys are excited. Let me know what you guys wanna see for tutorials. Let me know what you guys wanna see for these chats. And yeah, let's move on. Let's, let's take over the internet. Yeah, peace.